Hi, what's up guys? Welcome to Young Family in our YouTube channel. Today is February 18th, 2022. In December last year, I made a video specifically talking about the citrus tree in our front yard, which does not produce any fruits. So far, I have some new findings. In today's video, I'm going to update you guys on the status of this citrus tree. Stay tuned. Hi guys, before we get started, I would like to remind you, if you are the first time to visit my YouTube channel, or you have not yet watched that specific video for this citrus tree, I would recommend you go back to watch that video first, then come back, then you will totally understand what I'm talking about in this video. So this is the citrus tree I'm going to talk about today, compared with two months ago. As you can see here, this citrus tree has more new leaf growth. You can see the color is light green. Most of the new leaves are at the tips of the branches. So compared with two months ago, you can see this citrus tree is kind of like a more dense because covered with new leaf growth. Looks pretty healthy, very happy. In today's video, I still want to ask two questions whether this citrus tree can produce flowers and bear fruits. Right now it's middle February, it's kind of late winter or early spring. A lot of citrus right now are blooming. Some of them already began to produce small fruits. If you check out my citrus tree, such as lemon trees and orange trees in the containers, you can see they all produce a lot of white flowers and some of them already produce some small fruits. So it is the time to check out whether this citrus tree can produce flowers or not. Even though I kind of a little bit early, but anyway, it is supposed to produce some flowers. Interestingly, just a couple of days ago, I suddenly found this citrus tree are producing flowers. So right now it's kind of like hard to find it. So let's get a ladder we can see more closely. Now let's take a look at this citrus tree. Let's move to a camera. You can see the flowers right here. Did you see here? The white flowers. And you can see here another one, big one right here. So let me remove the leaves so it can focus on here. You see here? One, two, three. Three white flowers right here. It's beautiful. And just move around here. You can see more flowers right here. Did you see here? One, two, three, four. And the one is kind of small fruits right here. Did you see here? It's beautiful. So cute. I cannot believe it. But actually, if you check the whole tree, it's kind of hard to find more flowers compared with so many new leaves you can check out, you see, kind of hard to find more flowers. So actually there's one branch right here. Check out right here, you can see here, this is another flower and uh, several two others. It's kind of like a three but they are pretty small right now. So basically, just as I mentioned, you can see right here, the whole tree has a lot of new leaf growth, but it's really hard to find more flower buds right here. I don't know why. So that's why I think this citrus tree is kind of rootstock. It does not produce a lot of flowers. I'm not sure whether it can produce fruits or not, even though we can see very, very small, tiny fruit leaves up on there. So just as I mentioned, compared with this whole citrus tree, there's a lot of new leaf growth, but actually it's hard to find more flowers on the new shoots. So probably it's the time is kind of a little bit too early. So I'm going to monitor this citrus tree, especially for those branches with already flowers on it. 
So we will see whether this citrus tree can produce fruits or not. Another thing I want to mention you, in my previous video, I once talked about this citrus tree. I think this citrus tree is kind of like root stock. So basically, this root stock overtook the grafted lemon trees, as you can check out here. So basically, at the beginning, I had thought this is sucker, but later I found that this is not sucker. Actually, this is a lemon tree, maybe kind of lemon tree is a sign grafted to this root stock. But unfortunately, for some reason, this root stock overtook. So you can see here, this is small branch is a sign. It's totally, it's kind of, we really wanted this is citrus tree. But unfortunately, you can see here, most of the branches already dried out and dead. So even though I once mentioned we can see some particle right here. So that means a prude. This lemon tree, I think it's a lemon tree, before it can produce fruits. So let's move right here. You can see here, this sign, we call it a sign, or grafted lemon tree. There's new shoots right here. You see here, the new shoots. And here, there's another new shoot right here. So let's check out right here. Very interesting. Did you see this branch? Even though it's really, really small and thin, and the position is kind of low, high and low. You see here at the ground. But you can find some new flower buds right here. Check out right here. You see here, the new flower buds. And right here, you see here, and right here, and right here, and uh, it's right here. So basically, just as I mentioned, and also we was discussed in my previous video. So this is a grafted lemon tree. It's kind of like a sign they grafted on this rootstock. But unfortunately, this root stock overtook this lemon tree. So, this lemon tree can produce flowers and produce fruits, even though the position is kind of, it's not good because, as I mentioned, it's kind of low position and all the sunlight were blocked by this big citrus tree and the nearby the trees and my house building. So, but it is still can produce flowers. It's beautiful, very healthy. So based on current situation, I'm really interested in this citrus tree. So for one thing, I really want to know, this is what kind of a citrus tree. It's lemon or orange? Might be lemon, I'm not sure exactly. But right now you can see the flowers right here. It's too tiny. So I want to wait whether it can produce any fruits such as lemon or oranges. Another thing is for this rootstock, so we already know this rootstock can produce flowers, but I really want to know what kind of fruits this rootstock citrus tree can produce. So I'm going to update you guys later if I have any progress. At the end of this video, I just want to mention you here. As you can see here, something interesting. Actually, I already grafted some branches from different citrus families to this citrus tree. I would rather use this citrus tree as a rootstock to graft some other species or varieties of citrus. So I'm going to update you guys in the later. So thanks for watching. If you think today's video is very helpful, please like, share, leave comments down below. See you next time.